What is metformin and is it safe? Metformin is a medication prescribed for diabetes and insulin resistance. It's approved by the FDA to treat diabetes and has an orphan approval for the treatment of insulin resistance associated with polycystic ovary syndrome. Insulin resistance affects as many as one in three people. Insulin resistance is a stepping stone to metabolic syndrome, which includes obesity, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Metformin is not used alone. It's used in conjunction with weight loss measures, including diet, exercise, and lifestyle changes designed to improve your blood sugar control. Metformin is taken with meals to provide the best blood sugar control. Now, what does metformin exactly do? Metformin works to lower your blood glucose by decreasing your liver's production of glucose, decreasing your gut's absorption of glucose, and increasing your cell's sensitivity to insulin. At the molecular level, metformin works differently according to the dose and the duration of treatment. Metformin has been shown to activate the AMP activated protein kinase. Now our bodies produce AMP or adenosine monophosphate in the process of creating adenosine triphosphate or ATP, which is the major source of cell energy. The AMP activated protein kinase or AMPK is an energy sensor that regulates all aspects of cell function. The AMP cascade regulates food intake and energy expenditure at the whole body level by mediating the effects of hormones and cytokines such as leptin and adiponectin and ghrelin. So what are the side effects of metformin? Well, lactoacidosis is a rare but very serious side effect that can occur due to a buildup of metformin in your body. The signs of lactoacidosis are extreme tiredness, weakness, decreased appetite, nausea, vomiting, trouble breathing, dizziness or lightheadedness, and either fast or too slow heart rate, feeling cold, muscle pain, flushing or sudden reddening or warmth in your skin, stomach pain with any of the other symptoms. Lactoacidosis is a medical emergency and it must be treated in the hospital. If your kidneys don't work well, you'll have higher levels of metformin in your system and that'll raise your risk of lactoacidosis. If you have acute heart failure or you recently had a heart attack, you shouldn't take metformin because your heart will not send enough blood to your kidneys and that would prevent your kidneys from removing metformin from your body, increasing your risk of lactoacidosis. And you shouldn't take metformin if you have severe liver problems because your liver clears lactic acid from your body and severe liver problems can build up lactic acid to the point where you become lactoacidotic. Metformin raises your risk and can cause hepatotoxicity and can be dangerous. So it's really important before you start metformin to have a blood test to make sure that your kidneys and your liver are functioning normally. And you'll need to have the blood test repeated while taking metformin. Now we talk a lot about how to reverse insulin resistance in our hormone support group, which you can access through our free hormone reboot training. The more common side effects of metformin are mostly gastrointestinal, including heartburn, nausea, vomiting, bloating, gas, diarrhea, constipation, and abdominal pain. Metformin can also cause headaches and a metallic taste in your mouth. Metformin can cause anemia by decreasing your vitamin B12 levels, and it can cause hypoglycemia, especially if your diet is poor, or you consume excessive amounts of alcohol, or you take other diabetes medication, or engage in very strenuous exercise. While metformin is very effective at lowering blood sugar, it does have significant side effects and cannot be taken if you have liver disease, kidney dysfunction, or acute heart failure. I'll see you in the next video.